pray to say in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can we see this in the Sunday school? Amen. Second Chronicles chapter number twelve. said unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Ye have forsaken me, and therefore have I also left you in the hand of Peshach. Whereupon the princes of Israel and the king humbled themselves, and they said, The Lord is righteous. And when the Lord saw that they humbled themselves, the word of the Lord came to Shemiah, saying, They have humbled themselves, therefore I will not destroy them, but I, have, I will grant them some deliverance, and my wrath shall not be poured out upon Jerusalem by the hand of Shishak. Nevertheless, they shall be his servants, that they may know my service and the service of the kingdoms of the countries. So Shishak, king of Egypt, came against Jerusalem and took away the treasures of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house. And he took, he, he took all and carried away also the shields of gold which Solomon had made, instead of which King Rehoboam made shields of brass and committed, to them, uh, committed them to the hands of the chief of the guard that kept the entrance of the king's house. And the, when the king entered into the house of the Lord, he guard, the guard came and fetched them and brought them again into the guard chamber. And when he humbled himself, the wrath of the Lord turned from him, that he would not destroy him altogether. And also in Judah, things went well. Let's pray. Dear Father, I want to thank you for being kind to us, Lord. Thank you for mercy, grace, long-suffering toward us, dear Father God. Lord, I want to thank you for the, another opportunity to be in your house this morning. Lord, I pray that you would use this for and preaching, dear Father God. Lord, that you would uh, touch us, you would help us. Lord, that you would uh, do something special for us, dear Father God. Lord, I pray, dear Father, that you would bless the Sunday school teachers alike and the, the students alike. Lord, I pray that you would uh, you would help them, dear Father God, and be a blessing to them, dear Father. Lord, I pray that you would encourage their hearts. Lord, I pray that you would hide us behind the cross. Lord, that you would give us the words to say this morning, dear Father God. Lord, that you would help us. To, to, to do exactly what you have to do this morning, dear Father God. Lord, I pray that you would, uh, you, you would give us the word, dear Father. Lord, we surely love you. We thank you for it all. Give us and pray. Amen. In the text we just read, we, have, we, we, we find that, 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 that Judah, or, or that, uh, that Egypt has come in and, and has, has taken, or is, uh, uh, is, is Coming into to war with Jerusalem, we find that we find that 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 when they they show up, the uh, the the prophet comes and tells them what's going to happen. And, and Roboam, though he had he, he had been wicked, and though he had been uh, he had turned away from the Lord and had done uh, done uh, a wicked in, in the sight of the Lord, that he humbled himself and he got right with the Lord. We find that that uh, that. That as he as he was doing this, uh, and, and he, he, they're not utterly destroyed, but the Lord has mercy on them, and, and He has some grace on them, and He does some things for them. And but we find at the end of our text that there's something very important that happens that happens uh, 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 at, the, at the house of the Lord. Exodus chapter number twelve, verse thirty-five says, "And the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses, and they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment." 
In the Bible, you will find all kinds of types and shadows pertaining to the Scriptures. You find that particularly in, in, the, text, in the text, the words gold and brass. Gold in the King James Bible is a type of the presence of God. Egyptian, uh, or, uh, Egyptian, good Lord. Exodus, chapter number 25, verse 17. And thou shalt make a mercy seat of pure gold. Two cubits and a half shall be the length. Uh, uh, and two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof. Verse twenty-two or Exodus twenty-five twenty-two. And there I will meet with thee, and I will commune with thee from above the mercy seat, from, from between the two cherubims which are upon the ark of the testimony of all things which I have, which I will give thee in commandment unto the, the children of Israel. You will find that the cherubims and, and the mercy seat are all pure, uh, are all pure or overlaid with gold. You'll find many things in the house of God were made of pure gold, and that God would fill that place regularly with His presence. And you'll find that that as who, whoever whoever had the Ark of the Covenant, that and whoever uh, that bore, whoever had the Ark of the Covenant that bore the mercy seat, God blesses the individuals that have it. Second Samuel chapter number six verse eleven. And the Ark of the, uh, of the Lord continued in the house of Obed Edom, the Gittite, three months, and the Lord blessed Obed Edom. And all of his household, and it was told, uh, and it was told King David, saying, "The Lord hath blessed the house of Obed Edom, and all that pertaineth unto him, because of the ark of, the, of, the, of God." So David went and brought up the ark of, uh, of God from the house of Obed Edom into that city of David with gladness. And you'll find that that all throughout the the the, the all throughout the, 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 the Bible, you'll find that that gold is is. Is uh, the presence of God, and, and is and is important to, to to know that we find that the, the, in the house of God there's uh, there's plenty of uh, plenty of uh, gold everywhere. And the Lord specifically uh, had Solomon design uh, the the plates and had to, had him design the shields and had him design had him do all these things so that everything was uh, was was put uh, was was had had a purpose and, and a plan and a and a reason for it. And we find that the Lord. Uh, inhabited the house uh, regularly. We find that 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 whenever Solomon wouldn't pray the pr pray the prayer as they as they uh, as they were uh, they were uh, preparing the, uh, they were uh, opening the house of God if you if I can say it like that and they were uh, they were putting it in, and they were they were uh, blessing it and they were praying over it. We find that the, the presence of God showed up in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in a big way. And we find that that it filled the house to the point where they couldn't even uh, couldn't even go into it. And we find that that because of uh, the way that it was set up and the way that it was done, that the Lord would show up regularly and, and, and empower. The truth is, is that in the in the church, if, if the church is not set up the way that it's supposed to be set up and, 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 and it's backwards, it'll never it'll never see the power of God uh, that 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 it, that, it, that it has to have and, and, and it is required for the house of God to run on. And we find that 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 that, that as 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 uh, Christians will pray and as Christians will seek God as Christians will do the, do their part and they will they will they will they will put together their lives in in in, in such a fashion that, that the Lord can uh, can use can be used of them and the Lord can do something of them. Then you'll find that at, at, when we when we meet together that the Lord can do something in this place. And it can, we can see the sinners get saved, and, and, and saints get help, and backsliders. We can see them come home. We can see things happen if 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 if, uh, if, if people's hearts are, are pure when it comes to the Lord and it comes to their life. But we find in in the text that we read, we find that that that. Uh, Shishak came in and, 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 and they, they, they took over and they, and, and they, 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 they ransacked the, 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 uh, Jerusalem and ransacked the house of God, ransacked uh, Roboom, uh, Roboom's uh, 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 house and, and has taken all of the things that, 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 were, that would cause the Lord to move. Uh, took, had, had removed the things that were precious, had removed, removed the things that were important in the house of God. But we find that, that when he, he removes those things, that Roboom, he, he 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 does he does something very uh, peculiar, and he takes the he takes the thing that was 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 pure and the thing that was important, the thing that had done something great and and, and, and for the children of Israel and, and had uh, allowed the Lord the Lord to move in, in, in their midst and allowed the Lord to show up and and bless them like he ha he had been doing. But we find that because of the 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 the, the, the because of the, the where where uh, Roboam's heart was. And we find that it, that it wasn't nearly as important to replace it with a thing that, that had come out of it. And we find that, the, that, that 
We find that he takes the he, the shields that were taken that were made of pure gold that were that were uh, uh, that were a, a a symbol when everybody when everybody would see the house of God. There's no doubt that they would see those guards with with those those shields of gold, and they would and, and, and every single day they would see as they would walk past that they would see those guards and they would, they would hold those shields and they would they would stand there at attention and they would be what they were supposed to be and they would look what how they were supposed to look and they were and they and, but they had something that was real in their hands. It wasn't something that was uh, uh, like anything else, but it was real. And they, they every single time, there's no doubt in my mind that those guards would pick their pick their shields up and they would go to stay in their post and they would they would they would know in their hearts that what they were holding was real. And it wasn't a, a counterfeit, it wasn't a fake, but it was something that was that 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 had had, had meaning to it. Uh, and many times we we come into we come into church and, and, and the Lord has blessed us up uh, uh, here lately and showed up and shown out in the services and we've got to see the Lord move and and, 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 and seen it and not, and not just in, or, or in, in the church but even in my own life how the Lord has been good to me and has, has blessed me and has been uh, more than uh, 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 gracious to me that here in the last several weeks it has allowed me to, to have have some tears and it has allowed me to uh, have a soft heart and has uh, been good to me and, and I appreciate that and I appreciate the real thing and once you get have the real thing uh, the, you know a counterfeit just won't do it. People can try to stir it up. People can try to make it whatever they want it to be and, and try to turn it into something that it's not. But at the end of the day, that whenever you, you have something real, you, you cling and, and, and you're proud and you're, and you're thankful for the real thing. And we find that these guards, there's no doubt in my mind that those guards, they would pick their, 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 their shield up and they would stand there post and they would, and they would think this, man, this thing is real. It's not just something. It's not something that we do. It's not something that we've heard. But with, but this but this shield is real, and and, 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 it, and it is more. It is it is everything that that I that I thought it was. It was. It's everything that that I have heard it was. It is everything that 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 uh, they think it is. And and, and I, I can remember whenever I first when I first got out of the military, and uh, I I bought. I had bought a I bought a, a a new F-150. Man, I was so proud of that thing. I, I thought, man, I was like, I thought I was big time. I'll just be honest with you. I was like, man, I said I've never in a million years thought I would ever be able to afford a, a new a, a new truck. And uh, I would drive that thing around and, and just think to myself, man, this thing is awesome. It was a it was it was a 2011 F-150, first year of the EcoBoost engine, and it was awesome, and I loved it. And uh, and I and I always and I, I always thought when I'd be right, I would ride down the road. I said, man, I said this thing is super nice, and it, this thing is is the real deal, a brand spanking new F-150, and I was super excited about it. And uh, and and and, and, I, and I thought this, I said, man, people whenever they they see this truck go down the road, they 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 know, oh, that's the brand new one. That one's the one that's got the new engine, and they and it's got all the things in it, and 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 and, 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 and you know and, and you know how they knew because of the badge on the side of the truck. Right. It said Eco Boost right on the side, so they they knew. And just like just like those shields, those people that when people would walk by, they would see that shield glimmer. They'd see that that gold shine and, and how and how and, and how it had a, a certain kind of color to it and a certain kind of shine to it, and it was. And it was, and, and those guards probably thought this, man. Look at this thing shining. As the sun would hit it, and, and, and they would, and they would stand there and stand their post, and they would think this. Everybody knows what this is, right. and how great this thing is. And the truth is that uh, whenever, whenever Shishak came in and and, 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 and stole him, the because of, of because of Rohan's heart, and because of where he was at, he, he did, this is what he thought. Well, we gotta have shields, but we can't. We, but we can't put the real thing up there. We can't afford uh, to put the real thing up there. So you know what he did? He 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 put a he put a he put a counterfeit up. You will find that 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 brass is a type of judgment. Judges sixteen verse twenty one. But the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and, and brought him out. Uh, brought him down to Gaza. And bound him with fetters of brass, and he did grind in the prison house. Speaking of uh, uh, Samson, Daniel 2 30, uh, 39. And after these shall ri uh, arise another kingdom inferior to thee, and another third kingdom of brass, which shall bear rule over all the earth. You find that Shishak, uh, the, the find that Sh uh, Shishak is the king of Egypt who comes over 
and takes Israel. He is a type of the devil because Egypt is a type of the world. So, you, so there are many certain types. But the question remains, why were the golden shields replaced with, with brass shields? Literally, Rehoboam replaces the presence of God with the judgment of God because God sent the devil to rob him of his presence instead of responding with replacing the shields with the real deal of gold that they originally that they were originally. He instead replaced them with a counterfeit or a forgery of what should have been. So the question becomes, what do we do when the new wears off? What happens whenever we get saved and, 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 our, and it seems like our Christian life is the real deal and it's, and it's gold and, and it's shiny and, and everything is just perfect about, uh, about it. What, and what, what happens whenever, and whenever we, we, when the Lord hasn't put us through any trials, when the Lord hasn't uh, made uh, things happen in our lives to, to make us question if He's even there still? And what happens whenever, whenever it seems that li uh, whenever, whenever life all of a sudden begins to be life? <laughs> And, and, and your car breaks down or, or the, the AC goes out or, or you go through a storm and you don't understand what's going on. What happens when, when uh, what do we do when the new wears off? What, uh, what, do we, what, 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 is, what happens? We find that what, what happens uh, here is that when the new wore off and, and, and it wasn't as important to Rogue he just changes it with something different. He takes away the good thing that, that he had, the thing that was a blessing to him, the thing that was that was that was uh, keeping Israel and and, 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 and and allowing the Lord to still show up in, in the midst and allowing the Lord to still be uh, be a uh, real in his life. You know what he did? He took away the thing that was good to him. The, 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 well, let me say this: the world took away the thing that was allowing the the the, the, the Lord to meet and, and show up in the in their midst, and he replaced it with something that was inferior. To, to, to that thing. The truth is that when we, when we get saved uh, and we get the real deal in our hearts and in our lives and we begin to live for the Lord, the, the, the world is going to do everything. The devil is going to do everything that he can to, to, to steal that thing away from you. The truth is that it's not always easy living for God. It's not always easy uh, doing, doing the right thing. It's not always easy uh, trying to uh, accomplish the will of God for your life. But the truth of the matter is, is, that, is, that, is that the Lord realizes that and the Lord allows that to happen in, your, in, 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 in life. He allows things to, to, to happen so that you might be able to stand and stand there for. And, and, and the truth is, is that he, uh, though because of the way that Israel was living and because of the way Rome was living and because of the way he, what, what was going on in, in, in his life the rest of Israel had to, had to deal with the, with the consequences of it but, but instead of doing right and, and saying you know what Lord uh, I be, even though the world came and took the, the thing that I have allowed us to meet meet with you that it has come and, and removed the thing that was important to us and has, and has removed the, the, the thing he wasn't willing to do, make the sacrifice to put the real thing back up and to say you know what Lord I realize that the world took, 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 has taken the, the important thing and, and has taken, uh, uh, taken the real thing so but Lord I, I just can't afford to put to put the real thing back on display so Lord I'm just going to put a counterfeit up so that it looks like it's the real thing it looks like it's the, the, the the, the, it looks like it's the okay thing, and it looks like it's the right thing. But the truth is that is that is that it, it, I'll know, and you'll know, and the guards that'll hold those those shields will know, but nobody else will know. And the truth is is that many times in in, in, in our Christian life, you know what happens when the world ha when the world shows when the, when the devil shows up and the world has its way, it's easy to lose our joy. It's easy to lose our, 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 our excitement and our zeal and, 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 the, and our peace and, and, and our contentment and our, and, our, and our satisfaction in the Lord. It's easy to, to say, you know what, Lord? You didn't show up for me on this, uh, on this one. Lord, you, uh, why are you you're allowing all these things to happen? And Lord, I just don't understand. But, but, but Lord, because I've, said I, because I've said this or because I, I, because I have said I'm a Christian, Lord, I'm going to... Put, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a, a shield of brass up in my life, and I'm going to show everybody else that I'm that I'm still uh, I'm still saved, and I'm still a child of, uh, of the King. But but Lord, you know and I know that it, it, deep down inside of me, we're struggling, 
And if and 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 and, 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 be, and between me and you, it's just gonna be. It, it, we, it's just it, it, just the way it is, Lord. I just can't put up the real thing. I don't, I'm too scared to lose something real again. I'm too scared to to to, to lose the, something in, in, in my life. And you realize that as 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 they as they as they went on, the, those guards before the, uh, Shishak ever showed up, those shields, the real gold. It didn't require being polished. It didn't require the maintenance. It didn't require the the the. the it, 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 it was if anything, they had to wipe it down real quick so that they get the fingerprints off of it before they walk back out in front of the, in, in in front of the, the house of God. Those 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 shields were maintenance free. They were they were easy to deal with. And the truth is, is that our Christianity when it, it, it's the same it's the same way when we are holding the the, the real deal in our in our hands. And we are and we are spending time with the Lord, and, and, and it's not just an act or a, a counterfeit, if you will, that we are doing the things that we're supposed to do. It's so much easier to just keep the the maintenance down and just wipe the fingerprints off and just keep it uh, and just do the, the small things to that to to, to to continue living for the Lord. And, and, and the truth is, as as we get as as we begin to lose our time in prayer, as we begin to lose our time in in, in, in reading our Bibles, we begin to lose our, our our joy if we can. It becomes much more work. To, to, to put on a facade or put on a show that we can that that we we love the Lord <laughs> and uh, I'll be honest with you there have been times in my life that I have I have I I, I wasn't where I was supposed to be there have been times that I, in, my, in my life since I've been saved that I wasn't reading my Bible like I should and praying like I should and doing the things like I should and the truth of the matter is is that is that whenever I was in those places. It was, it was harder for me to walk away from a dirty joke at work. It was harder for me to not not do the things that 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 uh, that, that that I knew I should do, and it made it difficult for me to be able to to, to you know say you know what I'm going to take the time and do the thing that I'm supposed I'm supposed to do, and uh, I'm going to do the thing that maybe I don't want to do. But but if it's just me knocking off the fingerprints, then I'll, I it is easy enough for me to do it. The truth is, is that when the when the new wears off, it becomes work. You know. We, I, all, I, I tell my wife all the time. I said, I just wish that I worked somewhere that I loved. When it, before I before I switched jobs, I said, I said, I, I hate that I that I go to work and I hate where I work. I hate doing the thing that I do. I, I hate not taking the time and or I, I hate uh, having to drive over there. I hate not enjoying and loving the, loving my job. Right. And, and 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 Kayla, she said, Well, Aaron, she said, if, if you loved it, then it wouldn't be called work. And the truth is, is that is, is that uh, she, she's she's one hundred percent right. But when it, but 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 the truth is, is that there are plenty of people on the planet that absolutely love the thing that they do. They they love doing the job, doing their job. And and the truth is, is that is that where I'm at right now. So far, I have enjoyed myself thoroughly, and I I, I can say at the end that I, I love my job. And, and, and the truth is, is that the same is true for our Christian lives. There, there, are, there are days that, that, that reading our Bibles is like we're going to work. It's not fun. It's not enjoyable. It's not exciting. It's just, it's just the these and the thous and the and the so and so begot so and so and so and so begot so and so. And it's just like life. It's not always easy. Right. It's just not always enjoyable. It's not always fun. And then, and then there are other times that you can't you can't wait to sit down and read your Bible and, and sit down and find out what the Lord's got for you. You get into the, into the good the, the good uh, 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 accounts of the Bible and you get into the, the exciting uh, accounts of the Bible and reading about the Lord and the Gospels and reading about uh, all, all the big characters that, that we, we've heard uh, all of our lives growing up. And we hear about all those things and, and we, we know that we're getting to those spots in our Bibles and we're like, all right. Well, this is going to be a good. This is going to be a good one today. And we sit down, we start reading, and and, and and the truth is, is that it's not always easy. There are days, even whenever I'm in the good spots, that it's hard to sit down and open up a Bible and and, and, and to read. The truth is, is it's not. It, some days, serving the Lord is like work. Yeah. It's not always enjoyable trying to do for the Lord and, and live for the Lord. And, and, and but the truth is. Is that is that it's so much easier if, if we put in the work and we put in the labor and we do the things when when the new has worn off and we and we, and we take the time that it's just maintenance. Yeah. I've never I've never in my life ever wanted to to at anything that I've ever done wanted just to give up because I just didn't feel like it. 
I, 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 my dad, whenever I was growing up, whenever I started any kind of sport, whenever I did anything, even if he knew that I wasn't going to like it, my dad would say this before I ever signed up and started. He said, if you sign up, you're going to finish it to the very end. Right. And, uh, and, he, and even when I didn't want to, my dad would drag me out of bed and he would make sure that I was where I was supposed to be doing what I was supposed to do because I, he, he said, you made a commitment. And because you made a commitment, you're going to, you're going to, get, you're, you're going to show up and you're going to do it anyways. And the truth is, when we got saved and we gave our lives to the Lord, you know what we did? We made a commitment. We said, you know what, Lord, if there, though there'll be there'll be hard times, I, I'm sure we didn't say this when we got saved. I know I didn't, <laughs> you know. But uh, after I got saved and, and, and I began to hit hard patches, this is what I thought, and this is what I told the Lord, Lord, even though it's tough, I'm going to do what I so, do what I, I, you have told me to do because I made a commitment to you that I would do it. I've spent my life trying to live, live for the Lord, trying to leave my home, trying to, uh, trying to show my, my kids that this thing is real and that it's, it's, not, it's not just something that we do, but, it's, but it is something that we live. And uh, my, my son, my, uh, Hayden, he gets up and he'll, he'll get it and during the services. He'll say, preacher will say something and, and say, why don't you come up to the altar? And, and Hayden will get up and go, Dad, I'm going to go up there. I say, Okay. I was like, he, I know that he has no idea why he's going up there. He just wants to go up there and fiddle foul around, if I can say it like that, and twist all around and, and just go up there. But I've noticed over the last several weeks that, the, that when we first started going up there, as he would go up there and, and mess around and, 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 and play around, and I would pray over him, I've noticed over the last several weeks that, that he has slowly started to stop messing around and started to pay attention to the words that are coming out of my mouth. And the truth is, is that is that... I want, him to, I want him to realize at a young age that this thing is not, it's not just something that, that we do and, and we go in and we, we, we knock the, the corrosion off of, a, off of a brass shield and wipe the oxidation off of a, off of a brass shield and, and, and because we're coming to church, but that, that, that we, we carry a, 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 the real thing in, 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 in mom and dad's life and that whenever we walk out, we walk out of the back doors and we go to our house that nothing changes. And I want them to realize that, 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 that when we come up here, it's not time to play. It's time to pray. Amen. And that it's time, it, it, it's, it's, time, it, it's time that we're reverencing the Lord and not just coming to, we're not just doing, just do, make, doing the motions. But it's, it, but it's a real thing. It's easy to, to, to when the new wears off, to just say, you know what, Lord, I, I'll, I, I'll play church on Sundays. I'll do, I'll do the things that, I, that, I'm, that I'm supposed to do. But Lord... I just don't know if I can do it every single day. You realize that brass over time oxidizes or corrodes, revealing a nasty, unsightly condition called oxid oxidization. It causes the brass to become black, blue, or green, but it reveals to, to the onlooker that it's not actually true gold. Though it, be, can, it can be polished and buffed to look just like gold, it can, it can shine like a mirror, it will not always be that way. And what you do with the brass every day will determine what the people have to behold. The truth is, is that we deal with we, we deal have to deal with brass day in and day out. Yeah. Because of the, of our sin cursed bodies, we deal with brass daily. Yeah. We have to get up. That's why we read our Bibles. That's why we pray. You know what we're doing? We're knocking the oxidation off. We're shining, we're shining it back up, so that so that when we when we when we we, we leave this place, when we, we leave our homes, when we deal with the world, that the world doesn't see uh, doesn't see a, a, a counterfeit, but they see the real deal. The closer we get to the Lord, the more the more like the Lord we will be, and uh, the more that we the, the more that we will uh, have an impact on somebody else's life. I'll be honest with you. I don't wear a I don't wear a metal ring anymore, but uh, but my dad has always worn a, a golden wedding band, and uh, he he it, he's worn it well since I got married, obviously, but uh, <laughs> but uh, so all of my life at least, up until recently when he lost so much weight that it can't it don't fit. But I can remember growing up that I would try to pry that thing off my dad's finger. And uh, from him working, it, 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 was, it was literally a triangle from his hands pushing down on the gold and, and, and being molded and made in, in to, to his hand over all the years that he had worn it. 
And uh, and I can remember growing up, my dad, he's an aircraft mechanic, so he, and he stayed dirty growing up. And uh, I can remember, the, 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 I would always pay attention to that, that, that wedding band that he had. And it, was, uh, and it always struck me funny that no matter how dirty my dad was, no, how, how, I mean, he could be black from the tip, fingertips to, his, to, his, to his, the top of his head. That gold, that, that gold ring always stayed shining. It never, it never did. It never did tarnish. It never did wear out. And you, and you know what I thought? That's that, that's the real thing. Dad, dad, I, I, he's brave for wearing a, a real gold on his finger everywhere he goes and dealing with airplanes. I said, but that's the real thing. And it was it was significant to him. Obviously, my mom gave it to him when they got married, so it, it's important to him. And it's and, 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 and he's he's willing to show it to anybody and everybody that that, that he has that 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 sees it and and, and, and it proclaims that he belongs and that he, that he's married to my mom. I'll be honest with you. If my mom said, you know what, I don't I can't really afford afford a gold ring, so I'm gonna go buy I'm gonna go buy a brass one. I used to, we used to buy, uh, you know, the, the little 50 cent rings from the, from the, from Walmart when they had the little machines that did that. And, you know, as soon as you could always tell, it was like, you know, when we were kids, we thought this was a real deal. This was, this was it. And we, and we thought, man, this is, we are, we are in high cotton. We've got real gold on our fingers. And uh, when we were growing up and we were little, didn't know any better, we'd go swimming. I swam all my life. And as soon as you'd go and you'd jump in the pool, the next day, you can mark down that sucker would be green, <laughs> because you know we did not realize it wasn't real, and and if it, if it's if it's not real, then it's going to turn. And the truth is, is that our Christian lives are the same are exactly the same way. Right. If it's not real, then we won't live this thing very long. Right. We won't do it. The, we won't do it very long. We won't live for the Lord properly very long. And and and, and the truth is, and, and, and the truth is, is that if it's not real. Everybody else will see that, and everybody else will see, will see what's going on and, and, and what's what's happening in our, in our lives. And the truth is, is that though I deal with flesh every single day, my heart, my soul is is is, is, is pure as gold. But this flesh is still brass. Right. It is still it is still it reaps reaps the the, the reward of my sin. And it still has to deal. I still have to show up, though my, my soul is pure as gold, though it's and it, that it is pure, and it, and, it, and 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 I and I and, and I can and, and I can I know that beyond a shadow of a doubt that I'm that I'm on my way to heaven. Uh, my soul is still have to deal with this flesh every single day. Yeah. I still have to deal with the, with the judgment of, of sin on my life every single day. And the only way for me to, to be able to show a, a lost and dying world that this is this is a real deal. Is that I shine it every single day. Mm -hmm. That I take the time and then knock off all the off all the corrosion in my life, and I, I that I, I I make sure that what's going on and, and what's what 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 is is going on in my life never never makes it to a lost and dying world to see that there's any chinks in the armor. The thing is, is that brass, though though it, it though you can make it look just like gold and you can shine it up just like gold, it's never it'll never be as strong as gold. It'll never have the, the it'll never have the 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 the, the tension or the uh, the tensile strength of gold. It gets worn down. It gets beat up. It gets broken and, and battered and and, and, and and beat up. And the truth is, is that those guards they knew that they were holding something inferior. They knew that they didn't have the real deal. But they knew that they knew that they had to to make sure that, that armor was exactly what it was supposed to be. Day in and day out, and make sure that it was that it shined like it was supposed to. And it, it, and and though they 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 were guarding the Lord's house, though they were making sure that the Lord was was that everything was was the way it should look, they had to take time and work on 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 the things they were using. The truth is, is that our testimony and this body is all we got right. when it comes to a lost and dying world. And every single day, we've got to make sure that we're doing the thing. Though our uh, though our heart and our soul be pure as gold and, and, and perfect in the sight of the Lord, this this, this flesh is not. Right. And uh, you know, the old saying is, people will say, "Oh, they 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 know my heart." Truth is, is they can't see your heart. Right. They only see what this flesh does. Yep. 
And then we have to make sure that we, we, we are doing the thing that is required so that people know that this thing is real. And it's not a counterfeit. Right. Because as soon as we allow the Lord, uh, put, our, put our guard down and, and, take, and, and drop, and, and drop our, our, our shield and our sword, we'll be, it will be at that point that it'll start to corrode. Yeah. And it'll start to fall apart. And it'll start to wear down. And when it corrodes, it gets weaker. And when it corrodes more, it gets weaker. And you'll never, it'll, it'll never be what it should have been. So let's pray. Give the following thing to be in kind of Lord. Thank you for mercy, grace, long suffering toward us, dear Father. Lord, I pray that you to, uh, you to help us when the new wears off, or to, to stand our ground, to do, to do the work necessary, that we might be better off for it, dear Father God. Lord, it's not always easy to, to live, it's not always easy living for you in the lost and dying world, dear Father God. Lord, it's still always right. And Lord, I pray, dear Father God, that you would help us uh, to, to do just that, dear Father God. Lord, I pray that you protect our testimonies. Lord, I pray that you protect our, our hearts and our minds. Lord, I pray, dear Father God, that you would use this frail tip of preaching, dear Father God, that, you, that it would be a help and a blessing to somebody here. Lord, I pray that you would bless the worship hour. Lord, I pray that you have your will and your way in the service. Lord, that you be our honored guest this morning. Lord, that you would show up. You would show out, dear Father God. Lord, we surely love you. We thank you for it all. Jesus, let me pray. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.